All right, here we are again. We've got our guy cleaned up. These holes are tapped. Now we're going to take our, our uh, metering needle here and take the O-ring off here. Let me tell you, I don't know if Andrew can come down and, and show you how small these O-rings are, but this is the second smallest O-ring in the world. Well, at least in the world of automotive. So we're going to put this O-ring, the new O-ring that comes out of our kit, onto the needle. And now we can slide our needle up into our, our uh, assembly here. He's happy. Now we're going to take our air kick piston. We're going to assemble him down inside here and put our gasket on the top and put our surfaced piece on top and these self-tapping screws here, the Phillips screws. And we'll get these guys tight. And we'll be set to put our, our uh, cam back in. Just a moment here, and we'll have these screws done. Trusting that we're going to get this uh, whole thing done here within the allotted amount of time. All right, so here's our kick, our air kick piston. Okay, he works nice and positively. Now we can take our our uh, cam in here, and this is a tricky part of it, but. We can do it, we will do it, get this guy in here. So he is working. And take our nut, put that on the back, wind him up. And what did I do with my socket? Here we go. He's here. Get him part way on. And remember we used some vice grips here. Sort of crude, but you know, you've seen me do it. If you're careful with vice grips, there's no problem using them. I'm sure there's a factory tool. Anyway, we've got this guy nice and snug. This guy's working great here. All right, and uh, then we got to put our, our cap on on the top here. You remember that uh, I told you that it had, it's been swedged. The very top part of that has been swedged, and that broke off. So we'll be able to uh, put him on and use a use our small hammer. It's a good thing I got my toolbox close here today. And I don't know how much luck we're gonna have getting him back on here. Because I'm gonna have to swedge him back down again. I got him finally on there and I'm using a chisel here and a staking him on to the top so that he'll he'll stay. And he, uh, he, seems, he seems good. So we've got our choke all done. The next part is calibrating the heat mass. So we're going to take the heat mass off the cooling system and to make sure that it doesn't leak out a lot while we've taken it off. Pop, pop this guy off here and put uh, 3 8 or 7 16 bolts in uh, to hold it from leaking. So here's our automatic choke. It's all done. Here's our gasket. Use a lot of grease on the gasket. Use uh, factory screws. Those are the best ones, 1032s, to hold it firmly affixed. And in our next video, we're going to calibrate the automatic choke.